the Narika Mega. This thing, 1500 watt. It says it's supposed to go 38 miles an hour on the website, but you're gonna see it goes way faster than that. Does wheelies, does all the above. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Check out the freaking Narika Mega. This is probably my favorite bike that Narika's ever came out with. This thing's quite insane, quite fast, huge, and it handles as such. Let me do a wheelie. Alright guys, so the last few videos that we've had a product with Narika, they sent us something, it was pretty baller. And this one, I already got started unboxing this thing because it's kind of boring taking out of the box and it's just got a whole bunch of foam and everything. Alright, now check me out. This is the Narika Mega. This is 1500 watt badass bike, carbon fiber monocoque. It's basically the Prime and the Revenant had a baby and this is the result. Let me show you what it's capable of. All right, guys, what you came to see is the Narika Mega. And as you can see, this thing does not look anything shy of freaking amazing. It's got the 26 by 4.0 front tires and rear tires on it. So this is going to be a fat bike, 100% certified fat bike. And this thing is thick. So one thing I do want to show is the frame is fairly beefy. So this is a big bike. This is gonna be like a full size man bike if you wanna ride it. Kids can definitely get on it, but it's definitely gonna be fairly big. But this is kind of the Mac Daddy, the full suspension, the whole package when it comes to Narika. Everyone wants these bikes to be full suspension and they also want them to handle amazingly. With that being said, there's obviously the Shimano big brakes on this thing and ABS brakes as well up front. So that's gonna make handling super easy up front. You could just mash the front brakes and it's just gonna stop for you. It's not gonna lock up that front tire. In the back, they're not big brakes, but they're Shimano and they're definitely really good and as you can see they'll do some wheelies here in a second so this thing's a 1500 watt motor and it's also an 840 watt hour battery so this thing is basically a full package on top of it being mid-driven you can adjust torque how you want to so that's basically all the main things on this bike and let me go ahead and throw on a gopro and show you guys how this thing rides because it's actually super simple but this bike just looks freaking amazing it doesn't matter how you look at it what angle you look at it this bike is awesome looking change of scene here we're at a park in georgia that i just moved to so we're gonna go ahead and test out the roads and if you can't see behind me there's a little bit of a bmx track so we're gonna go ahead and take the mega and put it to its paces for a little bit so let's see what that thing can do and what it's capable of oh yeah dude look at those bikes i got them strapped in real good but i was looking the other day on google maps and found something that i could not pass up y'all can't see it because there's a berm here but let me show you just a second So we're gonna be taking the bike on this. This looks like an open all the time BMX track. So I guess we're gonna check it out and uh, test out the bikes. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and hop on this all new Narika Mega and give it its first little test drive. So I went ahead and found a park. That seemed to be a good little spot. First thing, everyone, every single person wants to know before you know anything else on the bike, does it wheelie? Yes, it wheelies. We're going, okay, we'll go over. Look at the shadow, I'm bunny hopping this thing, it's so easy. That's crazy. This bike really is kind of a hoot and holler. So this thing is a 1500 watt monster. 840 watt hour, 48 volt, ABS brakes up front, big brakes on this one, it's full suspension, which is one thing y'all have been wondering for a long time. When are they finally gonna get one of those carbon fiber bikes from Narika with rear suspension? Here it is, it is the Mega. Basically when the Prime and Revenant had a baby and the best things of all of them are in one bike. The only thing I could say about this thing is it's a little heavy, so you kind of have to muscle it around a little more, but otherwise it still is a beautiful bike. It's a beautiful day today. That's a lot of bike, man. Oh, it's so much. Get some good air on it, or is it too big? I could try. All right, I'll get warmed up on a first little lap. Oh yeah. Woo All right, so now I'll downshift to this mid gear. Can't jump this, it's too much. These tires are 26s and the wheelbase is a little too wide, but I definitely can wheelie up. And then this section is stupid hard to go through. With these big tires is kind of wild. 
goodness gracious. That's a lot of bike. She'll get some air, but she's got a lot of wheelbase for this track. Yeah, that thing's pretty smooth. <laughs> I'm surprised you uh, got the first double here. That's yeah. No yeah, that's just a commitment thing. It'll make it happen. But yeah, this is a unit right here. Definitely need to lower down the seat so I can get a little more aggressive. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like going to the gym, getting some reps in. Yep. Yes, it is. It's a heavy bike. I think it's like 60, 70 pounds. So yeah, yeah. it's fun. All right. I'm gonna try and wheelie yet again. All right. <laughs> this is so fun. There it goes. I guess it's capable. Is this a trail? Best believe it is. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a fresh trail. I don't know where we're riding, but we're riding somewhere. Oh my gosh, this thing just has to get up and go. Oh, in the stop, holy cow. There's some mud there. I guess we can just trek right through that. We got fat tires. Oh yeah, easy, easy pickings. Oh, field, goal, goal. Oh. Oh, no, you're good. I'll turn around. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're gonna get another goal. <laughs> Let me show you guys the ABS capabilities. Full brakes. Holy cow. Okay, okay, okay. That's something I need to show you. All right, I'll just give it to you like this. This is obviously on some leaves. No rear, full front. I locked up once, but it just picked right back up. I mean, physically, I just grabbed all of the front brakes and if it didn't have ABS brakes on it, I would've just fell. But because this bike has that, it's so much more controllable. I'll give another one. I'll coast down this hill, just full front brakes. That's full front brakes. And it just stopped the whole entire bike with not, without even a hesitation. That's quite wild. I don't think I have experienced anything else like that on another bike. All right, guys, so just like the Prime and the Revenant, this thing has pretty much the same exact features, except this thing is, yes, mid-drive, just like the Prime, but rear suspension like the Revenant. And if you don't know the Monarica models, basically this is just means that it's a full suspension, mid-drive, 1500 watt peak motor, as well as 1000 watt continuous. 840 watt hour battery, 48 volts, I just showed you guys the ABS brakes and how they handle on this thing, as well as these giant tires. Of course, they're bigger and wider, so they're gonna handle a lot better on the off-road. And then from there, we've got the air suspension, which is worth noting. We have another fork lockout. So as you can see, forks compress. And if you wanna lock out the fork, you press it with your thumb. Forks no longer compress, which is great for loading the bike down or for pedaling up hills. It saves you on energy because the energy doesn't go to the suspension. It just goes straight to the ground, which helps you pedal. So with the air suspension, let me pop that off real quick. There's just a cover on the left side of the fork and you fill up your forks to whatever desired pressure you want it to be. And then on this side is where the lockout connects to. Um, this is the ABS button. This is the ABS on, ABS off button. So you can ride with them on or off. Pressing that button and the ABS light will turn on and then turning it off, the ABS light will turn off. Simple as that. So you can adjust dampening, rebound, and as well as you have a lockout on the bottom of this thing too. So you have all the adjustment on all of the suspension, the tail lights built into the bike, and then you have the option of a carbon fiber seat post in whatever seat you want. But we'll go ahead and hop on this thing. And since the bike's on, we'll just turn it into the different modes. You have one all the way to nine 
and might as well ride on nine. I wonder if I could jump table. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty aggressive. Well, what do you know? We made it happen. Yeah, one more lap around the track and call it a day. It's a victory lap. Just get to wheelie over everything. Oh, that was a good one. Three for three. No wheelie, we're just gonna jump. And we're done. We're gonna go ahead and do a top speed run and see what the Narika Mega can do right here on camera right now. Let's get it. All right, sounds like there's no cars coming, so Good luck, brother. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in. Roll in, shift to the high gear, and let's make it happen. So we got to 43 pedaling. Now we'll ride back up this ginormous hill. And because it's a freaking e-bike, you could just do that. Oh, we got cars coming. Yeah, that's a little bit of perspective for the size of this hill. That's a long ways down. All right, all right, all right. So it is time for top speed run. Let's go ahead and make it happen, guys. See what this thing can get to. cow i just hit 48 miles an hour on a bicycle that not only is just a bicycle it does wheelies so this is the narika mega guys just hit 48 miles an hour now i'm doing a wheelie and uh i don't know what else to say this thing is sick dude oh my goodness off-road Feels like a dirt bike. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so shook. You just saw what this thing did. That was a top speed run. I think I'll stop it at 48. 48.7. Yeah, no, I got to the point where this was going fast enough. I was like, ah, I'm gonna hit the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this was getting like, yeah. to the point where you just know you're going fast on a bicycle and uh, 50 miles an hour, the whole thing is just like, shuddering it's staying together it feels great suspension's dialed in with the air all the way up when the air is set to your weight as a rider it makes this thing feel a million times better Man, this thing doing a wheelie through anywhere is just a blast. You can't ask for anything more. <laughs> okay, this bike <laughs> makes it worth it. I gotta shift and we're wheeling across the river. On your left. 
So as you can tell, this thing pretty much just gets you around places faster than you need to go. It's a great mountain bike, and if it's set up for your weight, then it's really just like having a mini dirt bike, but in bicycle form. And if you can tell, everyone's just sitting there staring at it. Will the Narika Mega go upstairs? Sizing it up. Probably gonna hit it. Okay, the Narika Mega goes upstairs like it's no one's business. Um, that's quite funny. <laughs> And it also goes downstairs like no one's business. All right, just in case you guys wanted to know. Whee! How's it going? <laughs> Whee! Whee! Damn, that was a pretty damn uh, efficient beaver right there. Whee! Okay, I'm sorry guys. I don't want to make this whole entire video me just doing wheelies, but it's just too fun for me not to do wheelies the whole entire time. Speed run. It's all fun and games till you get passed by a bicycle. Whee. Sir, I like your truck. Thank you, Grandma. All right, guys, we're gonna take this thing for a ride. Do, first off, please do not mind this flashlight that I got here. This thing is the, the goofiest headlight that I've got. and It works, so I'm gonna get a flashlight. Got some video of me doing this the other day, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it with some GoPros so y'all can get some actual POV footage of what the Mega looks like. It's got some steam to it. So it's geared, it's ran by a chain. So it's like a little mini dirt bike. I need to shift it to the next gear. It's geared, which means you can change the torque to apply at different ranges. So you can do stuff like wheelies, but then you can also Do stuff like this. We'll test out the suspension on this here Narika Mega. Oh, this is intimidating as hell. I don't even know if this is feasible. Oh, it's so feasible. <laughs> oh, it's so feasible. Since I've showed you all the features on this thing and basically everything you need to know about the Narika Mega, yes, I do approve. This is probably my favorite Narika bike that they've ever came out with and probably the best one altogether. The brakes are great, the bike is great, and after riding all day long doing wheelies, the battery is only at 31%. So as far as I gotta say, it's got my stamp of approval. This thing is solid, good. And you can get one of these things in the description of my video. If you click down there, there will be a link and you can get a discount on one of these things, which definitely go ahead and use because it helps me out and it helps Narika out. So without further ado, guys, this thing is a freaking unit of a bike. And uh... man, this, oh man. Yeah, that's awesome. I'll catch y'all later. Have a good one. And remember, too freaky. Send it. Oh my goodness. 999.9 .9 miles on the Narika Prime. I'm gonna do circles around this KFC parking lot till I hit a thousand. Thousand miles on it. There it just went right there. The Narika Prime has a thousand miles on it right now. 
and I've gone through two back tires and one front tire, two sets of brake pads and a set for the front. And that's pretty much it. Everything else has been perfectly fine on this bike. A thousand miles on it. You can see right there, the odometer just hit a thousand for the first time. The Noriga bikes are doing well. A thousand miles later on the Prime, as you guys wanted to know, does great. A thousand miles going strong. This thing goes perfect. And now we have a thousand point one miles on this puppy. That's crazy. We also put the suspension fork on there and that thing makes this bike seem so much more comfortable. This is a riding bike now. Holy shit. Good shit. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great one.